April 27th, After the Buffeting The mystery of human suffering will not be solved completely in this life. Sometimes we suffer simply because we are human. Our bodies change as we grow older and we are susceptible to the normal problems of life. The same body that can bring us pleasure can also bring us pain. The same family members and friends who delight us can also break our hearts. This is a part of the human comedy. Sometimes we suffer because we are foolish and disobedient to the Lord who may see fit to chasten us in his love. King David suffered greatly because of his sin with Bathsheba. In his grace, God forgives our sin, but in his government, he must permit us to reap what we sow. Suffering also is a tool God uses for building godly character. Certainly, Paul was a man of rich Christian character because he permitted God to mold and make him in the painful experiences of his life. When you walk along the shore of the ocean, you notice that the rocks are sharp in the quiet covers, but polished in those places where the waves beat against them. God can use the waves and billows of life to polish us if we will let him. Verse for today. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of sharing in his sufferings. Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. Consider Psalm chapter 51. Romans chapter 5 verses 1 to 5, 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 9, and Hebrews chapter 12 verse 3. Considering the four types of suffering described in the entry, try to label your sufferings accordingly, which have been the easiest to bear. Why? Which have been the hardest to bear and why? Commit your sufferings to the Lord who says, Cast your burdens on me, for I care for you. Amen.